Yes, it's back. It's RimWorld Series 2. We're playing Alpha 15 with all the drugs and everything. And we've got, well, I think I've got a really good setup for this. Uh, we are going to be using some mods in this series. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, the prepare carefully so that I can set up the scenario with uh, with Sky and Nanny, our heroes. Uh, I've gone for defensive positions uh, simply because it, uh, it just saves a little bit of time. I've gone for more floors because it uh, it allows us to make our bases look really sexy and nice. Adds uh, lots of different uh, textures to the flooring. And I'm also going to have expanded prosthetics and organ engineering. Now, I've been umming and ahhing about this one because obviously this does change gameplay, which I've been kind of eh, 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 I'm not sure about. But uh, I like the idea of being able to create our own prosthetics and it does add a bunch more stuff into the game which I think is interesting so we're gonna go with that now I've got it turned off at the moment because it changes the um, the points in the startup you'll see in a second uh, and I want you to see it before and after you implement that mod so we're going with a new a new a colony and the scenario is uh, it's based off crash landed okay so here it is sky and nanny they're going to wake from their crypto sleep sarcophagi. Finally, they've arrived. Safe from the authorities on an unknown rim world, they can start to rebuild their criminal empire. Basically, at the end of the last series, we found out that uh, Sky and Nanny were originally drug smugglers and arms dealers who had uh, who crashed landed on the last planet because of uh, a drugs bust that went very wrong for them. Uh, after six years stuck on that planet, they've got out. They found a new planet. And they're going to set up their, their drug and arms empire. Now, I haven't changed the starting equipment, but we're going to. Uh, and, but I wanted to leave it as it is in here because I wanted you to see the points. Let's get on to that. So let's go to here. We're going to play Cassandra Classic. We're going to play it on Rough. And then we're going to go with, uh, with a map seed of Sky. Nice and easy for you guys to remember if you want to play the same map. Let's generate that. Now, this world, it actually creates quite a nice world. And I thought, like, as we're going with the whole drugs theme, I really want to kind of role play this as much as possible. So we're going to go with, uh, with I think, a tropical zone, right? A tropical rainforest. Now, tropical rainforest increases the, the, the difficulty over, over a, like, a temperate forest, which is where we played the last one, um, because it's, uh, it's much hotter. Uh, I mean, we're going to be having an average temperature around, around 30 degrees, average temperature in the summer so it's going to be uh, it's going to be quite brutal we're going to have to deal with the heat we're going to take this um, this spot here now it's large hills rather than mountains we've got uh, marble granite and slate which i think is a nice mix of textures uh we do have year-round growing and i've gone for this because sky and nanny would have wanted to pick somewhere where uh, where they could grow their their drugs all year round and like the you know the jungle forest and it's kind of got a colombian kind of feel don't you think so we're going to go with that one thing will change we're going to go for a slightly larger map i'm not going to go too big because it does affect the performance and we do want to have a nice large colony and uh, and we'll start off in the spring so let's select that site now this is where this mod comes in prepare carefully now when you when you start a new game You'll get somewhere probably a points value of around 11, 12,000. Let me show you. Let's click on this. Now you can change everything. You can check, you can pick exactly what you want for these people. You can pick their backstories, what traits they've got. You can increase, decrease their skills. And uh, it adds up all of the points for your skills. So for example, like increasing a skill uh, goes, let's say 295 goes to uh, 310 so it's about 15 points to add a point to this now your average point spend is going to be somewhere between about ten and a half thousand and twelve and a half thousand points so I've chosen the low end of that to make this a, a, a pretty tough start so let's um, let's load up my preset which is sky and nanny here we go now I'm just starting with two people right and the reason for this is if you look down at the points I've got four and a half thousand points in implants. This is because I've got Sky and Nanny set up um, very similarly to how they were in the previous game. Again, for the role playing. So uh, Sky ended the last series with a bionic, two bionic arms and a bionic eye, right? So I've put those in. 
Now that's meant that uh, that's four and a half thousand points. That's like half my points almost have gone into just having those bionics. So I've had to offset that by doing things like giving them uh, both crypto sleep uh, sickness that they start with. And um, I've kept the backstories the same. So Sky was still still a, a dung mucker <laughs> and then developed into a brigand, which kind of fits with this. I've, I've tried to develop their traits in line with their characters. So in the last series, Sky was a, a careful shooter and Nanny was a fast walker and she was also neurotic. Well, I've... I've, ma I've made them now both very neurotic because obviously they are embarking on a, on a, on a criminal career again. So I thought, yeah, it kind of fits. They're going to be, they're going to be very nervous about it. They're going to work hard. So we get, uh, we get the global work speed bonus, but they get a very big uh, penalty to the mental break threshold. So keeping these guys happy, that's not going to be easy. I've picked up on their backstories to set up their skills. So what I've done, um, Nanny, because of the cave world tending, she's into growing and mining and as a teacher, social and research. So what I've done is I've given them two primary skills, uh, which, are, which are a burning passion, and then three secondary skills, which are just a, just a, a regular passion. So um, they've got one skill set to 10 and then four skills set to eight. Okay, so Nanny, who's kind of the brains of the operation, she's good with people, you know, good with making the deals. She's good on research, and uh, because of her background, she's got the uh, the mining, the, sorry, the mining and growing. I've also given her a crafting skill because that kind of fits in with the whole, it's like the arms dealing and all that kind of thing. So I thought crafting was a, was a good one. Now Sky, on the other hand. Who, uh, who? Now he was a careful shooter. I've added bloodlust to give him because um, I wanted to give them some negatives, but I wanted to keep it in character. Sky is the brawn. Nanny's the brain. Sky's the brawn. So he's a careful shooter, but bloodlust. He gets a rush from hurting people. Never minds the sight of uh, of blood or death. He's twice as likely to start a social fight. So yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting. He's got uh, uh, his primary skills. Shooting and uh, and medicine, which uh, which kind of tie in with the with the previous the previous series, and then he's got uh, secondary skills of uh, construction and craft. Now, to uh, to get this down to only ten thousand six hundred sixty six points, which is the, that really is the low end. If you uh, if you start a few random scenarios, you'll find that's very much the low end. I've had to really trim back what they start with. Normally, you would start this scenario with like 800 silver. They only get 100 silver. You would start with like 30 package survival meals. They've only got two. This is going to be a tough start. Okay, so uh, I've now loaded up the prosthetics mod. And you can see down here that the points spent has jumped up dramatically. And it's because the implants have gone up from like 4,500 to 11,500. Which I think is kind of... A bit, well, I think that's ridiculous and I don't agree with it. But um, So that's why I wanted to show you that, that, that points difference. So, um, yeah, so we're done. Right, so now we can, uh, we can start a map. Let's go. Now, I just hope I haven't made this start too tough, <laughs> which is possible. You excited? I'm so excited for this. Okay, here we go. Sky and Nanny descend from the skies and land in their drop pods. In their new home planet. Ooh, oh, 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 oh! I'm seeing good things already. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh yeah, I'm definitely liking this place. Oh, this has got a lot going for it. Look, we've got uh, we've got steam geysers here, here, here. We've got a, a, a nice starting building. That's a real bonus because. Bit like the fact that we've got like no wood, virtually no steel. Uh, having a building already there is really good. Oh, and our ship, our ship parts have fallen really near to us. That's really lucky as well. We've got some other buildings over here. Uh, what the other thing I'm looking at is these marshy areas because these can be really, really useful for defensive positions. Like you could have a choke point coming through here, which could be pretty nice. Any more marshy ground? 
Yeah, a little bit over there, a little bit over there. There's uh, there was a nice big patch of marsh up here. Like if you if you, if you could wall this off and like force people to come through here, I mean we could put part of the base in here. Oh, we've got that is going to be full of mechanoids. You just know it. Alrighty, I think I think this map has a lot of promise. It's going to be a lot of animals. Now there's going to be all kinds of different animals here than on the previous ones. Now that's an emu. We've had emus before. But uh, there's going to be all kinds of different animals. Oh, here you go. Now, this is the kind of increased danger in on uh, on a, 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 a rainforest map. You get things like uh, panthers, which are quite dangerous. Now, resources-wise, well, look at that. Massive block of steel there. Oh, we've got some plasteel over there. That's nice. We've got some components. We've got a whole bunch of steel around here. Whoa. Oh, yeah. The thing we really need... Oh, now that's a cassowary. These bright coloured birds. Cassowaries. Oh, here we go. Monkeys. Hooray. It shipwrecked all over again. We got monkeys. And this is good. We got lots of berry bushes around, which is kind of nice. So that's going to give us some, uh, some initial food. Oh... I'm feeling good about this. I'm going to have a good old look around the map um, and check out where all the components and stuff are and then uh, and then plan out how we're going to start the base. Okay, well, I've just been having fun uh, planning out our kitchen area. This is going to be the bedroom. This is going to be a, a kitchen and a cooler over here. So I've put in um, an initial stockpile and a dumping stockpile up here. I want it kind of like kind of just away from here but not too far because hauling is going to be a big problem for us with only two people so we will um we'll unforbid this steel because we want to use that we will unforbid the meals so that they can eat we'll leave the medicine where it is for now uh sky we want to equip the assault rifle nanny we want to equip the pistol and now I've marked a bunch of trees because we're going to need a bunch of wood. So I've marked a bunch of trees to be chopped down by Nanny. And um, yeah, Sky, I tell you what Sky can do. Sky can uh, maybe deconstruct at least one of those. Now, as soon as we get some wood, I want Sky to be working on uh, getting these buildings together. The, 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 probably the most important thing is to get uh, is to get some food made and to get a bed made and to actually enclose this off so there's a lot to do so get on with it guys nanny <laughs> nanny has picked up both the meals oh she's being very tidy she's going to go and put them on the stockpile good old nanny sky has immediately gone off to do the um, to work on the on the ship chunk get that deconstructed where's nanny going oh nanny's now he's hauling stuff over to the uh, to the dumping stockpile, and she's hauling that over. Good job, Nanny. It's a lot to get done. A lot to get done. Right, the plant harvesting. Let's make sure that she's set up for that. Nanny, plant cutting. Actually, let's. Yeah, you should be doing the plant cutting, not Sky. Although I don't know. I don't suppose it. It really makes a whole lot of difference. And yeah, I suppose we could have Sky. We could have them both doing that. There's no kind of reason why not. Right, we got nine components and a bunch of steel out of that. So we've got some components. We've already got some components over there and they can be unforbidden. The uh, Like I said, the medicine will leave where it is for now. Oh, come on, Nanny. Chop that tree down. Oh, Sky's getting onto it as well. Now, there is a lot to do. And we're already 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a long day for these two. But it's really important. Now, we're going to need, like, so I think it's 75 for a bed. We're going to need uh, a bunch for uh, uh, the walls for this and a, and a bench for... Butchering. Now let's see, we've got about 200 wood, so I think let's get, 
let's get the bed let's get the bed done so double bed made of wood and i'm actually like not normally i would put it against the wall but i'm actually going to put it in the middle of the room i think like just to just to kind of be different more than anything else so let's get let's get that plonked in there and sky work on that double bed now come on make a good one Nanny's still chopping down trees. What are you going to do now, Nanny? She, oh, now she's going to go and eat already. Let's have a look at her needs. Now, they're in pretty good moods. Um, she's urgently hungry at the moment. We'll, we'll get rid of that. The, the environment is very ugly. But they get a little bit of a boost from the fact that they're married. And they've got this new colony optimism and, and extremely low expectations. But that's not going to last forever. And when that gets down then their moods are going to drop dramatically unless we've done something about it. So, lot to do. Here we go. And, oh, they've got a superior bed. Now, that is a very good start. Uh, what's Sky going to go and do now? He's going to go and cut some more wood. Nanny's going to go and eat. Okay, well, let's let them get on with that. How's, um, how's Sky doing, hunger-wise? Let's have a look. Uh, he's going to need to eat soon. So, w yeah, food. Food's going to be a priority. Well, what are you going to go and do, Nanny? She's going to cut a teak tree down. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start looking for some raspberry bushes that we can harvest. That one, for sure. Uh, that one looks like a good one. Yeah, 88%. That'll do. And that's 88% as well. Right, those three will do for a start. Okay, now how many more trees have we got to do? I don't. Th I think that might be the last tree over there. I didn't ask for like millions to be cut down. Uh, what are you going to do now? Oh, you're going to go and harvest the berries. Now that's a very good thing. Right, we want a food stockpile. This is uh, this stockpile over here is just a generic stockpile, and I'm going to say, uh, don't allow foods. All foods should be stored on a stockpile in here. Let's get that done. So let's have stockpile in here. And this is going to be just for food. So storage. Well, it's going to be for food and also for animal corpses. So this is going to be, uh, we'll make this important. We'll clear everything and then say allow foods and uh, allow just animal corpses in there okay cool alrighty so hopefully when nanny harvests this bush you'll go and dump the berries in there which would be kind of nice right sky's done that what are you going to do now now he's going to go and harvest berry bushes we don't want you to do that sky what we want you to do is go and yeah do i want you to hunt a monkey no no We'll do that afterwards. I'm going to get him to uh, uh, make a... Where are we? Uh, <laughs> I want a, a butcher's table. And we're going to put a butcher's table in here. Cha-ching. Okay, so Sky, I want you to prioritise working on that butcher's table now. Uh, what's Nanny? Oh, Nanny's going to go and do that bush. So she can go and do the bushes while... Uh, while Sky does this. Where the hell are you going, Sky? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll kind of just wander around a bit. So, yeah, he's got to chop these trees down to make room for this. Right, so Nanny's doing... Uh, after he's done this bench, Sky needs to put some doors in on this place. We're going to have a door here, and we'll have nice wooden walls there and there that'll give them their bedroom now we need their bedroom done by tonight now they'll automatically be assigned to this but i'm just going to make absolutely damn sure assign them both to that bed right cool okay sky let's see what you can do let's get that done now she's going to carry that over there and then what do we want done i suppose we want this stuff hauled out of here so Let's get that hauled and that and that because we don't want this to be, we want this to be a nice room. We don't want it to be ugly. Okay, we've got the butcher's table done. Oh, Sky's eating some berries. 
and we'll have a we'll have a look at his needs after that. Eight without a table. That's the other thing that we need. I'm glad I looked at that because I would have forgotten. I totally would have forgotten. We want a table, and then we'll have uh, a couple of dining chairs, one on either side, so they can they can sit and face each other and discuss issues of the day. Like, who the hell's going to chop down the trees today? Not me. I chopped them down yesterday. Yeah, a typical kind of arguing between Sky and Nanny. It's nothing usual. You'll get used to it. And the door and the wall. Alrighty. So, now we want that done. Hauling wood to the dining chair. Okay. Now, are we too low on wood? I think we need more wood, don't we? You know we? what? We need to chop these trees down anyway. So, let's take, oh, that's 98, that's 73, where well, it's got to go anyway. Uh, yeah, all of these trees in, in fact, in fact, why don't I just do it the easy way, because they've all got to go. So, orders and chop wood, right, chop all of those. Go, go, nanny. Here we go. Oh, and he's putting the roof on now. Oh, the table's shoddy. Well, that's poor Sky. But he is getting the roof put on. So they've actually got a place where they can sleep tonight. Four o'clock, job done. Let's have a look at this room. Let's turn the, uh, the room stats on. So this is uh, spacious. It is, um, it's neutral, so it's not an ugly room. So that's good. Could do with a bit of a clean. But generally, that is not a bad room at all. All right, cool. They've got the butcher's table, so they can start butchering. What we need next is a cooking stove. Now, I'm not going to go for the electric one. I'm going to go for a field stove, because there's plenty of wood around, and the less drain on our electricity, the better. So we're going to put in a nice field stove there. Now, this is going to take us 80 steel. And we have got enough. So, boom, that goes in. Oh, he's stocking it up. Right, so now we can actually set up some bills on these. This thing, we want this to be, uh, let's see, butcher creatures. And we want to do it forever. And we just want to drop the resulting meat on the floor. And I only want this done by somebody with a cooking skill of five or more. Which may... Well, no, actually, that can be done by anybody. And you know what? I could, I could make it. So I, if I say, only do this if you've got a cooking skill of four or less. Right? Because I'm pretty sure Sky... Let's have a look. Pretty sure Sky's cooking is three. Nanny's cooking is six. So actually, I could make that five. I could make that five or less. So Sky will do the butchering. And then we can set this up uh, to cook. Now, do I do simple meals or do I do fine meals? And I think for now, it would kind of make sense to do simple meals. I think we'll, just, oh, I think we'll set it up to do forever. And then this can only be done with a person of six or better, which means it's going to be Nanny who does the cooking. And I want her to drop that on the floor. Right, now we need to set up some, some stockpiles. So we're going we're gonna to optimise this. So we're going to get, uh, let's see, we want a, a stockpile there and a stockpile there. And this stockpile is going to be set up as critical. And we're going to clear everything. And then we're just going to allow, uh, let's see, more food. We're just going to allow meat to be placed there. And then this stockpile, which is also going to be critical, clear everything. And then we're going to say this is just for vegetables. Okay, so we've done that. Now, 
Ideally, we want to put a stool next to each one of these to make it even quicker to cook, but we'll, we'll do that later because I think we've got more important things that we need to do. Now, what I could do is I could put another stock pile in here. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, I could put another stock pile in here and set this up for, again, priority critical, clear all and make this for animal corpses so that if this is empty they'll they'll dump the first animal corpse there and then the, the butcher doesn't have to go and get it from there so it'll be a bit quicker all righty okay so we're set up for that so i think at this point we probably want to go and hunt something so and of course now all the animals have run away oh there's a monkey over there right let's go hunt that monkey so, Sky, what are you doing at the moment? You're hauling wood. If I'd redraft you, yeah, hunt the monkey. Oh, got a hit. Ah, uh, come on, down it. Yes, downed. In fact, dead. Ha 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 ha. Good job. Me, me, hunt monkey. Ha 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 ha. And, of course, he dumps it straight on the stockpile. Good. Then he's going to go and do what? He's going to go and haul some wood. Nanny has made some meals, which is very good news. Sky's hauling some wood. I think we can speed things up a little bit because they're both hauling wood at the moment. Now, why are they not butchering that monkey? Let's have a look. Have I set something up wrong? Butcher creature, do forever. Uh, cooking skills, zero to five. Oh, hang on. Is Sky not set up for cook? I bet he's not set up for cooking. He's not set up for... Oh, no, I'm going to set this up with uh, with manual priorities in a bit. But initially, I'm just going to go with it as it is. So Sky now should go and butcher that. Here we go. So Sky butchers that. He drops the meat, the resulting meat, on this stockpile. So Nanny can now go over here and cook it up when she decides to. Here we go. And boom, boom, boom. And we've got three, four. So we've now got seven meals. So we're coming up to eight o'clock. They're going to be going to bed. Now let's have a look. Let's have a look at their, uh, their time schedule. So they're currently set up to sleep at 10 o'clock at night and to sleep through till six but they've got a decent bed now let me show you for, for those of you who don't know um the, the better the bed the better they get rest or the faster they get their rest this is their re the rest effectiveness of this bed and so they probably don't need eight hours to sleep so what we can do is we can change this to I don't know. Let's chat. Let's take a couple of hours off. So they'll go to bed at 10 and they'll one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll kind of see what time they get up in the morning. But when they do get up in the morning, they can go, they can grab a meal, they can eat, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Now, the other thing that we could do, we could set up a, a stockpile uh, for food here. So that when they get up, they've got food and they can eat instantly. And I think that's probably not a bad idea. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to set up a stockpile where? Let's set a stop. Let's put a stockpile there. And we'll set this up for, uh, this will be critical. Clear everything. Now this, we just want meals. Here we go. Meals and simple meals. Right. Cha-ching. Oh, Nanny's going to go and grab some simple meals and put them on there. Excellent. What's Sky doing? Oh, they're doing a bit of cleaning. Now, I don't mind them doing a bit of cleaning, as long as they're not actually idle. Now, Nanny's going to go and rest. Sky is just wandering at the moment. Uh, let's see. It's nine o'clock. He's going to go to bed any second. Oh, Nanny's having something to eat. Oh, now Sky's going to go to bed. Oh, now, the big question. Oh, yes, they're going to get some loving. Now, you probably wonder why I'm so excited about that. Well, it's simply because it gives them a really nice boost. There's nothing like a tumble between the sheets to lift the mood. Damn straight. So right now, they are massively happy. 
So, yeah, that is pretty damn awesome. So, I guess tomorrow we want to start thinking about um, getting this, um, this cooler built and getting some power set up. So, yeah, let's, um, let's plan that out. So, let's get that planned out now. Uh, we, can, we can let this run on because they're, all they're going to be doing is, is sleeping and, and getting it on as they do. So, power. What I want to put in, ideally, is a wind turbine and a solar panel. So, let's see. Uh, where do I want to put this? I want to put this probably, I, I, I don't know, like down here maybe. Yeah. So, that's going to go in there. Now, pause for a second. Because if that's going in there, we want to remove all of the trees from around it. But we can kind of get a jump on that to a degree by putting a solar panel in. If I put a solar panel in, say, there, and we'll tell them to cut down the trees in this area. Now, those are going to be harvested. And then we'll, uh, we'll cut plants to get rid of the rest of the stuff. So, go. Okay. Uh, we are also going to need to link the power. So we're going to need to put a power conduit down. So I'm thinking we run it probably up there and through the walls. Let's run it to there, then into here, and then around to there. And that's where the the actual cooler is going to be right in fact let's get the let's get the cooler put in as well well no actually i want them to do this before before we start worrying about the cooler because without power it's not much point having a cooler and once they've uh, oh what's nanny doing what are you doing oh she's praying oh my god i never i never figured nanny for being the religious type. This guy's sitting down having a nice meal. How much stuff have we got? We've got 19 components. We've got a little bit of leather now. And we've got uh, 50 steel. We've got 200 wood. Okay. So Nanny's going and chopping this stuff down. While she's doing that, uh, we need steel. Like, we really need steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Sky to go and deconstruct these chunks over here. Now, what's this made of? That's sandstone. Uh, is there any steel closer? There's no steel around here. So yeah, it's gonna have to be this steel over here. So we will set this up to be mined. Orders, mine. Let's see, that's 100. Each one of these is like 35. So that's 100. Let's start off with that and we'll see how we get on. We'll see how much we get from the, uh, from the ship chunks. We've got 50. We need like 200 for the wind turbine and the solar generator. And then we're going to need like another 80 or so for the cooler. So we need about 300 steel altogether. Oh, Nanny's straight off to do the mining. We've got 30 from that, 30 from that. You're going to haul that? Yeah, he's going to haul that. I bet Sky's not set up for mining, are you? Oh, he is. And they've both got like half decent mining skills, but I think sky hauling that stuff is probably not a bad idea. Yeah, get it done. Get that power conduit laid. Oh, failed to harvest. That's not good. Have we got sky set up for harvesting? I suppose we have. Okay. Oh well. Right, Nanny is doing the important job of clearing all the trees over here. That's really good news. Oh, Sky is getting all of this stuff laid. Uh, which is all part of it. We, we, need, we need the power conduits. We need the wind turbine and the solar power. Now, I should put a battery in somewhere, shouldn't I? I'm going to put the battery in, in, the, uh, in the cooler room. I think that makes some sense. But that means we're going to need even more. Now, I could get away without the turbine. Uh, by just putting the battery in and using solar power during the day, but I don't know 
It's a, it's a good point, actually. Do I forbid that to now? You know what? I'm going to forbid that for now. But I'm glad that I've put it in already. So we'll forbid that for now, and we'll get uh, we'll get this battery put in in the in this room. I, I'm looking at this and wondering, like, should I make this a bit bigger? I think maybe run out to there. We want this to be. We want to be able to store a decent amount of stuff in here, I suppose. Oh, I don't need to run it there. So it's just running it around there. Okay, let's put the cooler in then. So temperature and cooler. And that needs to be, the red end needs to be the outside and the blue end is the cold end. So that's going to be in there like that. All right. And that is 90. I said 80. 90 steel. And of course, three components. And um, we've got, let's see. But we've got 37 components. That's actually more than I thought we were going to start with. So that's actually pretty good. Alrighty. So we've got a ton of components. That's good. We were lucky. We were really lucky that the um, that the ship junks dropped nearby. Because the ship junks could have dropped like anywhere on the map. I mean, they, they could have been like over here or somewhere. And that would have been like a mammoth job going and getting them and then hauling all of the stuff back so we really really got lucky with that all righty should we have a look at sky and nanny's um, moods now this is one thing with alpha 15 this is new in alpha 15 you can see the moods on on this square so you see that like nanny's mood is just a tiny little bit down but it's actually going up it's really nice to be able to see their moods that way without having to go to the needs and check it here. But right now, they are very happy. Oh, ate without a table. Why? Why did you eat without a table? That's weird. So the only, the only debuff they've got at the moment is uh, in darkness and sometimes being in an ugly environment. But you know what? Bit of cleaning, bit of hauling. Things are going to be um, things are going to be pretty good. So, Sky, what are you up to at the moment? He's wandering at the moment. Nanny's cleaning. Uh, I think we need to mine out some more of this steel, don't we? Yeah, we do. How much have we got at the moment? Okay, we've got none in stock. So let's get let's get another. I think probably couple of rows of that. We need uh, we need. Let's see how much. How much more do we need for this? We need another 50 for that. And then we're going to need another... Oh, they've already done that one. Oh, sweet. You know, we might be able to get the wind turbine up and running as well. That'd be kind of nice. Right, so I need to put this battery in, don't I? Yes, I do. Where are we? Uh, power and battery. Now we need 50 steel, two components. Yeah, we can deal with that. And we'll put it in this corner. I think. Uh, yeah. Now, this is a little bit dodgy, putting a battery in, in, a, in a building that's made of wood, <laughs> because this is going to be a wooden building. And I think right now we can actually get this put together, because I, I think we've got enough materials to do this. So we're going to have a nice layered wooden building like this. And there, and there. Now, ultimately, we'll be changing this to put in a nice, a nice stone building. But for now, it'll do. Uh, I'm going to get rid of, get rid of that. Right, we want some doors on this. It's five o'clock now. God, they should be getting up soon, shouldn't they? Yeah, five o'clock they were up. So they, they're not needing like a full eight hour sleep because of their nice bed. So Sky's got up, had his breakfast, and he's immediately on the job of building the kitchen and the storeroom. She's a tough one, Nanny is. She may be beautiful, but she doesn't mind a bit of hard work. Sky's cracking on with this. Yep, hauling wood. He's going to get more of that done. Let's crack this up a little bit. I think we can afford to. Oh, I did. The early days are so much fun. Oh, now he's grabbing the steel. He's going to get the battery made. Grab a couple of components. And boom. There's the battery done. 
Okay, he's getting the walls put together. What do we need for this? We need uh, we need a little bit more steel. Which is probably what he's getting. Yeah, that was what he was getting. That's the cooler done. The battery is getting charged up. And the cooler is working. Right, let's... Uh, right, this is currently set to 21 degrees. We want that down to about... And you can see the temperature here. Uh, we want that down to about minus... We'll set it for minus five. That'll be fine. Sky's putting the roof on the building. Awesome freaking source. We have got a very, very nice little uh, little freezer room. Okay, we've got a wild boar over here. Let's set him... Uh, wild boars can sometimes be a bit tricky, but I think we'll give it a try. Um, hunt that wild boar, Sky. So... What I'm going to do is, because he's currently going off to get the, the steel. Don't want you to do that. Draft, undraft. That will reprioritize him. Now he's going to hunt this wild boar. Yeah, kill it. Oh, good job. And immediately takes it in, butchers it up, takes the meat, plops it down there. Ready for Nanny to make some nice meals. Oh, Nanny's, Nanny's still hauling. Sky's doing a bit of cleaning, which is good news. Nanny's making up the meals. Sky's hauling them over there. All right, cool. Yep. Right, so, uh, now that's a full pile. So they'll, they'll always have 10 meals there, and then anything else is going to be put into the freezer. So, you know what, let's do that. Let's have, uh, let's have Sky hunt that wild boar. Try not to shoot Nanny while you're doing it, if you can possibly avoid it. It would be nice. What's Nanny doing at the moment? She's relaxing socially, which she doesn't really need to do. So we should give her something else to do. How about, how about Nanny, we start hauling some of this stuff. Uh, maybe just that. Right, there we go. Now, if I, if I draft Nanny, oh, she's going to go and cook first. That's her first priority. Oh, Sky's going to go and do the hauling while Nanny cooks. I keep I, see. This is the thing. I'm going to keep thinking that Sky is the cook, and of course he's not. So yeah, we've got plenty of meals now. So we're not going to starve to death. That's really good news. We've got uh, we've got our bed sorted out. That's awesome. We do need defences, but we'll get onto that very very soon. All right. Now they're doing a spot of cleaning. You know what? That's silver. We can be unforbidden. They can haul that over to the to the stockpile. There you go, Nanny. Awesome. Right. You know what, guys? I think that is not a bad place to leave episode one. They've been here for what? Um, two days. They're on. The, this is day three. Day one, they got the bedroom done. Very nice bedroom. Well, bedroom dining room. Day two. They got the kitchen and everything sorted out. They've got food. They're happy. Let's have a look at the old needs. They couldn't be happier with how things are going. All right, guys. We will leave it there for episode one. I think we've made a really nice start. One thing before the end. If you want to have your name in game, right, then you need to use the hashtag RimworldS2 right standing for series two rimworld s2 and then the name that you want used and guys the same as the last series i want to use your names right i want it to be you i don't want it to be some made up name or whatever i want it to be your names because i want it to i want this to i want you to feel involved in the game and i want to be involved with the characters i don't want just like you know, X, Y, Z person. I want it to be you. I want it. To, I want to know and see where, where you're commenting about yourself and what you've been doing and all that kind of stuff. So, guys, come back for the next episode. See, can Sky and Nanny continue this good start, uh, or will something dreadful happen? Catch you for the next one. Peace out. <laughs>